Holy hell, Brad. CM Punk has returned to WWE. I can't even freaking believe it. What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Holy crap in heaven. I can't even breathe right now, man. I, I look a freaking wreck after a long day of sports and Survivor Series and the craziness that ensued at Survivor Series, man. I, I, I don't even know what the hell to think, man. I, I, unbelievable. CM Punk has returned to WWE, and I don't even know what, what to think right now. Like, of course, we knew the rumor mill, right? We knew that, like, there was things circulating. It was like, is he going to return? Is he not going to return? Then you had the little loop in there or the little sprinkle of Randy Orton coming back. And then when you just add in all the different elements of Survivor Series and War Games and all these different things, really didn't know for sure, right? Especially, I mean, for years they've talked about CM Punk returning. They For years they've just talked about this thing and it's been like every pay-per-view it seems like, right? Obviously at different moments in time, there's been heavy, you know, heavier rumors and things of onset of him returning and things of that nature. But we really didn't think it would be concrete until now when it actually happened and I felt like my damn head was on fire. Shut up! Fire. I had a friend over that had never really watched wrestling ever that was watching college football with me all day and he got to see CM Punk's return and when I started freaking the hell out he was like what's going what is that what is happening right now and he got into it he started you know I put it on and he, he started like getting into it and then CM Punk returns Randy Orton returns all these different things he started getting into it so it was really awesome for him to actually see that as one of his big I mean like if he were to get into wrestling now one of his big I guess moments in his wrestling fandom would be that CM Punk return, which is just a crazy thing in itself. But CM Punk is back, man. Can you really even grasp what that means for just everything? Not just WWE in general or wrestling in general, man, but but action figures, man, like the channel. Can you imagine the action figures we're going to be getting now? I mean, I, I remember talking to Mattel a little while ago, talking about CM Punk's return and how we could get uh, an Elite 16 CM Punk Ultimate Edition re-released as an Ultimate, right? So we could get the Elite 16, they redo it, they give it double jointed arms, they give it butterfly joints, three different interchangeable heads, you get like a yelling, it's clobbering time face, you get like a smirking face, and then you get like the blowing kiss face, like when he jumped in the crowd with the Spinner Championship, throw in the WWE title, iconic shirt, interchangeable hands, go to sleep, Oh my, like who's not buying that? You're pre-ordering that today. If they release that right now at this moment or they put it up for pre-order, it would sell out instantly. It would easily back immediately. So I don't know what they're going to do. Are they going to back it like, you know, a, a Cody Rhodes Ultimate Edition made to order? If they do that, I sh I'm sure as hell people aren't skipping out on that one, Brad. I know a lot of people skipped out on the Ultimate Edition Cody Rhodes. I don't think nobody's skipping out on that one. The CM Punk Ultimate Edition, you'd be a damn fool, Bradley. But I'm, I'm hyped, man. It's going to be epic. And not only is that, but you got to think that they're going to be pumping this guy out in so many damn elite lines, right? I mean, it's we thought that Cody was bad or that Roman Reigns or Cena or Hulk Hogan or Rey Mysterio was getting epic figures. I mean, CM Punk returning to WWE is just such a dream come true for a ton of people. And not only that, just the, the, the sure amount of figures that he's going to be getting now is going to be crazy. You th like, again, it, like there's going to be elites. They're going to put them in the top talents wave. They're going to be putting them in the ultimate edition lines. They're going to be redoing figures, ringside exclusives. There's just so many different things they can do, man. And I'm sure they'll probably do it like AEW. They'll probably make a figure of this return moment at Survivor Series with the white tee and the joggers and whatnot. We'll get the day. Every version of CM Punk is on the table now. And I'm excited because now they can, again, if they do a Royal Rumble line or something like that, they can do past Royal Rumbles. They can do ECW champion CM Punk, man. So lots of things on the table for it, man. But uh, I think it's time we do the damn CM Punk ranking video. I don't think we've done a CM Punk ranking video, not, not all together like that. So I'm going to load it up. We're going to be doing that probably this week. We're going to be doing ranking every single CM Punk action figure. We're going to do the Jazz. We're going to throw the Jazz Wares and the AEW ones in there. We're going to throw back. We're going to throw in there the old WWE elites. And we're going to make one long ranking video and it should be absolutely epic, man. But I could not believe it when he walked out there right there, man. And I thought Survivor Series overall was a fantastic show. I really enjoyed it. Like it wasn't perfect from start to finish, but I thought both War Games matches really caught me off guard. Uh, I mean, I, I expected like big things out of the men's match, but the women's match kind of shocked me as well I wasn't really like bought into everything like surrounding the event but uh just like because Survivor the biggest thing for me for Survivor Series is like while you do have some like little storylines peppered in there mainly Survivor Series is usually brand versus brand and it's not like usually uh or at least especially in past years 
you know, I liked it to have some weight to it. I liked it to have like some some big things and big stakes involved in it. And so I thought it was a really epic match, great moments and fun. I thought both teams really mixed together really well. I thought there's some great gears out there tonight. I think we're going to get some of those in figure form. Really wanted Cody Rhodes to rock the face paint from the poster. I thought that would have been excellent. But his jacket was sick as hell. His pants were sick as hell. Uh, just everything about it, man. And then Randy Orton looks so damn jacked, man. How jacked did he look? He looked like an absolute madman out there. He, he, he was looking real jacked and lean and cut. And I knew he was going to be coming out because his wife was at ringside. She went like live on Instagram. And I guess that kind of played into the CM Punk theory because it was like, or it kind of like shaded it a little bit because it was like, you know, here she is at ringside going live. I saw people like commenting underneath like, oh my God, you ruined it. Uh, you know, you've, you've ruined the surprise, yada, yada, yada. And they did the old, like, Kevin Owens treatment where he comes out dead last and, you know, it's like, is he here? And they did that whole thing and then it was a whole swerve. And I don't know if, if they knew CM Punk was going to be there or not. It seemed like they didn't know. And not only that, but did you see after the matchup when Seth Rollins was, like, cursing out and he was, like, flipping him the bird and, like, dropping F-bombs all over the place towards CM Punk. And uh, so that's going to be a legendary feud right there. But that's another thing, man. CM Punk returning again. Like I said, not only we're we getting epic action figures, but epic WWE television because we're going to be getting so many damn feuds. Can you imagine the the feuds that we're going to be getting now from CM Punk returning to WWE? It's uh, I, my mind can't even wrap around what the hell just happened. And I was trying to tell my friend. I said, "You don't even realize what this means. Like you think it's like, oh, it's just this wrestler returning. Like you don't even know, bro. You don't even freaking it. get the hell out of my house." Now you knock it off. I'm sick of it. It's inappropriate. But in all seriousness, yeah, I got I kicked him the hell out of the house. Do you want to burn in hell, son? But for real though, it, it was it was unbelievable. I still can't. I was like shaking. You know those moments where you're shaking and like the build up. It did seem like something was in the air tonight. I was tweeting about it. If you're not following me on Twitter, follow me on Twitter at my damn toys. But I was kind of like, you know, it, there's I don't know. It was just something about professional wrestling, man. There's like nothing like it. Like college football is another thing. Like there's nothing quite like it. You can compare it to the NFL. You can compare it to different things. But there's just something about the pageantry and just the magic in the air. And professional wrestling has that same air to it where it's just like everybody's just kind of bought, in, bought into these moments and like we're all watching together and it kind of just brings us together. And uh, regardless of like what's happened in the past with CM Punk and WWE, it's still just a magical moment. And I know there's like memes and videos and vignettes and different moments of him and AEW trashing WWE still and stuff. But oh man, this is epic, man. I think that this is going to be legendary and I hope it's just a fantastic run. Apparently the, the rumor is, at least at the time of recording this video, that CM Punk, it's a multi-year deal, so it's not just going to be a one and done or whatever. And I, apparently, I read that he possibly isn't even under contract that time of like when he walked out at Survivor Series. So I don't know if he is uh, going to be under deal now. Like I don't know within the next five minutes. I mean, he already has merch up, so I guess they did ink a deal or they did something right there, man. But I had to get the hell on here and talk about all this issue and just trying to kind of react to everything that took place. But I thought Survivor Series was fun. I mean, epic ending. You can't really match that, like moments like that now. And I was on the fence, you guys. I don't know. If you follow the channel, you know that I went to the Royal Rumble last year. We, like, vlogged it and did the whole trip. Definitely going to be doing that again this year down in Tampa or whatnot, wherever the hell it is. I think it is in Tampa. Going to definitely be doing my best to get there. And then WrestleMania is in Philly. Probably going to try and do that now for sure. Like, with you know, I, I witnessed Cody Rhodes win the Rumble. Tried to watch him win the championship. And now seeing Punk's back, man. Got to make it down there. Try to, you know, see what the hell's up down there. But it uh, should be really fun. But I'm excited. I know you guys are going to be excited as well. I'd like to know down in the comment section below what figures you want to see. Uh, how hyped were you? Things of that nature. I was filming my reaction and then I stopped after uh, after the match started going and it was Randy Orton. You know, they popped up the little copyright thing and whatnot. I was like, you know what? It's all good. But uh, I have a little bit of recording, but I didn't have my actual recording of CM Punk coming out. But I had to like, I lifted off my feet and ran around my living room and was like, holy shish, this is really happening. But that is pretty much going to wrap up the video, man. CM Punk is back. He is returning and I had to at least just get on here and make a little reaction video. I know nothing special, but uh, I wanted to get on here anyway and talk about it. So let me know what you guys think about it all down in the comment section below, but I'm getting the hell out of here, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Huge shout out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. I always appreciate those fellows over there. Thank you guys so very much for your continued support. But I am getting out of here, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Leave me your thoughts on CM Punk's return down below. Are you hyped? Are you not hyped? You're a damn fool if you're not hyped. I'm getting out of here, man. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok on My Name Toys. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later. Dude, I can't even freaking believe it. I can't believe it. CM Punk is back, and we're about to get insane action figures, man. This is just ludicrous. Mmm.